I started off this video by smiling because I want you all to notice that you do certain things that changes your state of mind. I want you all to picture something that makes you upset now. Picture that bully in high school. Picture you not being able to pay your bills. Picture what your boss said to you, what your family argued with you about, what your significant other argued with you about. Now you feel that, don't you? That is a change of mind. You went from feeling kind of joyous, kind of jubilant, to feeling a little bit disturbed. And as a result, your body language changed as well as your state of mind. Because it is the stage of mind in the environment that creates the state of mind, which people confuse for a mental disorder. Now, what you know and what you can do with it depends on your ability to leverage it. Jews, being quite a brilliant people, inventing many things like Albert Einstein, E equals MC squared, and this theory of relativity, which has to do with an observer on Earth and his point of view. And how objects appear to be moving slower when they are traveling at light speed and you are standing from the point of view of the earth looking at them pass by so they move slower and shorten in length in the point of view of the observer on the earth it has to do with things being relative like your ability to leverage something. Before the Jewish physicians and the skilled Jewish men of trade were in that concentration camp, their ability to leverage what they know was far greater. I'll give you an example. I have a mark on my face and it affects my state of mind. Because say I go out in public or I go on a date, now I'm self-conscious. Now I'm in a self-conscious state of mind, and if you rub me wrong, I might misbehave. So there are many factors that influence your state of mind. And your stage of mind, your maturity of mind, the way you react has to do with how far you are along in life. And how far you are along in life is how far your mind has come along from the infant stage to the young adults to adulthood to a mature adult etc etc senior citizen stage of mind your environment the concentration camp the prison remember food in prison is what the gangs and the guards use to control you because they take away commissary if you act up just like in the institution if you don't take your medication, they won't let you go down to the dining hall. So when you have that full stomach from taking the medication, your behavior changes. When you're mad at the society for not allowing you to go to the dining hall and you've eaten less, you appear to have a mental disorder. This is why so many people in jail are forced on medication because they appear to have a mental disorder from some out of touch, bootlicking scumbag piece of shit. Now, let me bring up the example of the patient I discussed in my past videos and how he exemplifies the characteristics and the character traits and the behavior more than myself more than you because of his stage of mind back then his environment caused his behavior caused him to be put in another environment which started the snowball effect of misbehavior because the environment was conducive to misbehavior not conducive to reformation and controlled energy. 
not conducive to helping a man control his composure, which is what you're complaining about, his behavior and his lack of ability to keep his composure. So the environment, the stage of mind, all have to do with relativity. Because your stage of mind, relative to the environment, is what causes the behavior, which is the result of your state of mind. So, let's explore what happened on the day of the patient's incarceration. He was cooking food, and his brother had eaten some of the chicken wings. So now, just like in Haiti, you had African descended people, black people, who were hungry, who were living in a country where the elites control the policies. That was the environment. The whole environment within the greater environment of the United States of America and the corruption therein. So, the thought that he was hungry, he spent a half an hour cooking the chicken wings, and he had, the same way as those Haitians, they felt like, hey, I was here first. I grabbed this food first. Okay, he said, I made it first. And the other guy said, no, well, I grabbed it first. So he was arguing with his brother about the food. He leaves, he's on his way to get food. He comes back, okay? Everyone's afraid because they knew they had done him wrong. His little cousin looks at him after he had overheard him talking about who would win in a fight between him and his brother. His brother was talking to his cousin about that. And his aunt had fed into the whole thing. And made sure every step proceeded his plan until he ended up in the mental institution just like her. Okay? So he's in a family where everybody takes pills. Someone else in the family had been sent to the mental institution for breaking the rules. When everyone understood that she had a problem with alcoholism and not a mental disorder. Not even necessarily a problem with the state of mind, unless you call it the state of mind that alcohol induced because alcohol was part of her environment. And her stage of mind was that of an immature little slut who was not able to get herself together and became a drunk even though she had a bunch of kids. So this patient grabbed his brother after his brother had grabbed him on his way in his room brother had forced him in through the door the lock broke he dropped his keys as he was unlocking the door he dropped the chicken wings all but the few his brother had taken which he chose to let slide so this man showed us a great amount of control what they were referring to is his screaming in the room at the injustice that had been done to him his righteous indignation is what they complained about for example, if you killed my kid, and in a rage I said, you know what, I'm going to fucking kill you. Who's to blame? Is it me for having the natural response to such a grave injustice? Or is it the scum and their grievous action of demonic characteristics? So to make a long story short, he ends up punching his brother. His father ends up coming, taking his brother's side, and they end up sending him to the institution on the anniversary of his uncle's death. Control, ritual, stage of mind, environment, behavior. He was not able to leverage because of the environment. Thank you.